Hey guys, Tammy here, and I'm back with another muck bank, and I got my cousin Crystal with me today. Oh, I'm Crystal. And I better know what you're thinking. Tammy, you were just at Sonic doing a muck bank. You were just at Sonic doing a muck bank. Well, I'm back. Okay? Because you guys have been all up in my Instagram DMs, okay? Begging me to try this new pulled pork sandwich at Sonic. And apparently, they got a Reba shake. So, that's what I'm here trying today. Okay? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and order. Are you ready to order? You know what you're getting? I don't know. Let me scoot back. What is chocolate covered strawberry shake? That looks good. That does look good. Make your drink dirty. I like it dirty. <laughs> I'm going to get that. Okay. What does that mean? Dirty. Add sweet cream, coconut, and lime. At the same time? Yeah. I'm going to try it. I'm, I'm ringing in. And everybody was mad I didn't try the buffalo chicken bites last time. I don't like buffalo sauce, but I'll try them this time for y'all. Do you like buffalo sauce? It's a little too hot for me. So I'll, I'll try it. Oh, everybody was so mad. Tammy, if you're going to try new menu items. Hey, Susan, Sonny, may I take your order? How you doing? Doing good. Cool. Okay. Could I get a barbecue pulled pork sandwich? A large Dr. Pepper, make that shit dirty. An or a small order of the chicken buffalo bites. A sh Do y'all have the Reba shake? Uh, we yeah, we still have the shake. Okay, give me a Reba shake, please. And then I'm going to do... That's the chocolate covered strawberry shake. It's a Reba shake. Okay, and then I'm going to do... I'm going to have a number seven. A number seven. Coke Zero. Large. Large. With a large Coke Zero to drink on that number seven. I want a small Reba shake, too. And at, throw on another uh, Reba shake for me. And pop in a. You want tots or fries? Tots or fries? Tots. Tots, please. Over the number. Okay. And then throw in a pretzel twist. Oh, that's gonna get for you. That'll do me. All right, you need a drink carrier? No, thank you. All right, wait, thirty-four twelve. Thank you. All right, 34 bucks. Better be worth it. You okay. didn't check in at all during that. You didn't even know the man was still there. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's, let's fingers crossed that he got it. That he got the order right and correct. Then he said my order and went on to two other things. And he said, you want fries or tots with that? Right. Right. We'll see. Okay. And you guys asked some really good questions. Um, Ani, I got these from Instagram. Okay. And, uh... We're just going to start right off the bat. Okay? Listen, I got this question multiple times. So, I'm going to answer it. Okay? <clears throat> Tammy, Crystal, why don't you guys have an OF? You guys know what I'm talking about. I can't say it here on the YouTubes. They'll strike me. OF. Only... trying to think of uh only french fries except it's not french fries okay here's the deal we do have an of okay i have an of crystal has an of we just don't have the type of of that you're asking about you're not going to see holes on there the only hole you're going to see is the one in my mouth you're not going to see that hole front or back Okay. Ain't enough money in the world. Well, there is for me. <laughs> me too, there is. <laughs> there is. I'm just doing good on YouTube right now. You know what I mean? I'm focusing on that and other stuff. Um, we do have an OF. Now, the same content is over on my Patreon, and my Patreon's cheaper. Now, if you're thinking, Tammy, why have an OF and a Patreon if you're going to be just posting dumb crap? It's not dumb. 
You want to see my boobs? On my Patreon. You want to see her fat ass? It's on her Patreon. Okay, along with other good stuff. More mukbangs. I've got more mukbangs over on mine. Vlogs. Every episode of Tammy Bangs you can imagine. What else is over there? I do have nudes. You got, on yours, you got exclusive pictures. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You show pictures from when you was growing up and everything. It's fun over there. Okay? So, I'm going to put the link to all that down in my description and for hers. Go check it out. And you know what else she does on there? When she has a show, guess what? Free ticket meet and greet giveaways. That's personally put in by her. She doesn't have a, a manager <laughs> or people going through and picking a winner. She's picking a winner. Me. I'm doing it. Then she's going up to the ticket booth and saying, hey, add Joe Blow plus one VIP access. He won the meet and greet. And then I'll meet him after. That's how it happens. Okay? And this is going to tie in to another question I got. I got to ask this probably three... Well, I've been... People been asking this for months. What, if you're pregnant? No. <laughs> no, no. And I'm not. I haven't had no squirt up there in a while. That's something I've been on Daryl's ass about. But we can get into that later. People been asking, Tammy, what happened to your cigarette? Tammy, why don't you have the cigarette in your mouth anymore? Tammy, it's not the same without your cigarette. I'll tell you why. Censorship. Censorship is getting my ass. And it's gotten bad. And I'm not kidding. And you think, but wait, all you're doing is putting a little cigarette in your mouth that's not even lit. They don't care, okay? I posted it to my Snapchat. Uh, this was a few weeks ago. Got taken down for uh, promoting tobacco use. Said, uh, community guidelines, your Snapchat was taken down. It was a picture. A picture of me. Because I looked good and I was feeling good that day. A picture got taken down. Okay? They put strikes on my account on YouTube for having the cigarette in my mouth. They won't let me do nothing nowadays. Social media is not like it used to be. When I first started taking over the world years ago, it's different now. They won't allow me to have a cigarette in my mouth. Now, on on Patreon, they're, they'll let you do more. They'll let me show my nipples. They'll let me have a cigarette. They'll let me tell somebody to fuck off. They'll let me do what I want over there. So I don't want no not one person being like, why are you posting on Patreon and not everywhere else? First off, I do post everywhere else. Second off, Patreon, they're going to let me show my tits. Do, do you guys go to work and do it for free? <laughs> do you show up at your, your desk job and say, well, I'm not getting paid for today? She's working. She got all this free stuff out in the world and then she chooses this one little microscopic thing that you got to pay, what, $5 for? And my nudes are worth it. I'm just going to say that. Thousands of dollars she could offer to see her tits. But she ain't greedy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not at all. She okay. could sell a, a picture of her tits at the Julian uh, auction where they sell a fancy stuff. Millions of dollars probably. I could probably get millions for it. I probably could. Okay. So that answers your question about OF, Patreon, and about the cigarette. Okay? They're holding me back. These social media platforms are holding me back. Tammy, why don't you post Tammy Bangs on YouTubes? Wish I could. Wish I could, brother. They're holding me back. They're holding me back. All right, before I get really pissed off, let's move on to the next question. Oof, I got my, my heart's pounding. <clears throat> my heart's pounding. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, lots of people. Okay. Tammy, Crystal, 
how are y'all liking tour? Did you like the Albuquerque, honeys? The show was badass. Yes, we love the Albuquerque, honeys. The show in Albuquerque was our first one in New Mexico, or in Albuquerque, it was amazing. Um, tour's been fun. I will say this. We had a show in <clears throat> Marion, Illinois, <clears throat> a few days ago. Someone came up to me at the meet and greet and said, I went out back and Crystal's not back there. Crystal's LLC got shut down. I said, well, Crystal's LLC sold out. Mm -hmm. Can't keep up with the demand. Uh-uh. She can't keep anything in stock. And I didn't think nobody was going to come back there and see me. And, and I would have a line. Yeah. She can't keep nothing in stock. And so she's like, why am I sitting out here? You know, with, with no product. So she just goes back inside, you know. But, yeah. Crystal's LLC did not get shut down. It sold out. Sold out. I need to have a sign out there that said, Crystal's LLC sold out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So people don't stand out there and, and wait. wait for it. Um, Lots of really good questions. Let's answer this one. Ooh, this is a really good question. <clears throat> Tammy. Crystal, free burgers for a year or the best sex night of your life with Brad Pitt? Mm. <laughs> One night? One night. Or free burgers for life. This ain't even hard for me. Brad Pitt. I'm climbing on Brad Pitt <laughs> and smothering his ass. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if he dies. I don't. That'd be manslaughter. I'm, well, I, well, he, he, he chose it. I'm smothering him. You're right. You know what I mean? Which Brad Pitt do you want? Brad Pitt, circa oh, it, 96. It don't matter. 2003. It don't no, matter. I know. It don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. I don't want the, the, the young Brad, the early 90s Brad Pitt, too baby-faced for me. I like late 90s Brad Pitt up to today. I like, how old is he now? Like 50, 55? Something. He's getting better with age. Ooh. Yes, he is. I'm, I'm throbbing just thinking about climbing on top of Brad Pitt. I'm not kidding. Would you call him Brad Pitt the yeah. whole time? Yeah, I would never. I wouldn't call him Brad. I wouldn't call him Daddy. It'd be Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt. Because he don't look like just a Brad. No. No, and I'd get dirty with him. I'd be like, oh, yeah, Brad Pitt, you ever, you ever, you ever had a 300-pound woman bouncing on that thing? You know, he'd probably say no. No. And I'd probably be like, all right, all right, Brad Pitt, saddle up. First time for everything. He'd probably nut in two seconds. Oh, 100%. Because <laughs> guys that have never had a big girl before don't realize the, the power of the fat pussy. And they're done with in seconds. Mm -hmm. They're going to sit there and say, oh, I last all night. I can la I can last for 45 minutes. <laughs> Stick it in this fat pussy and you they two squirts and they're, mm -hmm. you know. So Brad would be the same way because he's just a normal person. You know, we look at him as this big movie star. He's a normal person. Just like us. And he probably wants to be treated as such. Right, you know? right, right. And this pussy will treat him as such. <laughs> Tell you that much. He don't want you going on. Oh my God, you were so good in Fight Club. Here we oh. go. Oh, thank God. I was getting How you doing? Good. I'm good, thank you. All right. That's all right. We was in here just chilling. There you go. Tammy. That's me, honeys. I'm Tammy. I'm on the Instagrams. I'm on the TikToks. I'm on all that shit. Yep, I'm up here all the time. Oh, all right. Lord, there you go, and you keep the change. Thank you. Thank you. See you next time. First of all, look at this. This ain't like the picture. Sorry. That ain't like the picture. Reba would not be happy. How about this? The okay. picture had mountains of chocolate on it. It had a mountain.
That's all right. That's okay. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> got my normalized queefs shirt on. <clears throat> Y'all been loving that. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. Should we, should we? Okay, I will say this, put your straw in there. I will say this. <clears throat> I'm gonna try this drink, Dr. Pepper. Cream, coconut, lime. Good luck. Mm. Damn it! That this tastes like I'm on vacation. Like I'm somewhere tropical, like Galveston, Texas, or Destin, Florida. Mm. Very tropical. The coconut, the lime. Mmm. I think you'd like it, but <clears throat> it's not like a lot of different flavors. That's good. Too many flavors. Alright, so we're 16 minutes into this mukbang and we're just now eating. I hope y'all haven't mind us just chit-chatting. Sometimes we need a good chit-chat with you guys. And Crystal's in the sun. Let me try to pull up some she's out of the sun. Check that out. Check this out. Long dong. Do you dong. think Brad Pitt has a long dong? Oh, this is probably the exact length of Brad Pitt. There's your tots. They're, that's the only our only food? Yeah. Dang, we usually have two bags. I got a, a <clears throat> twist, the buffalo bites, and my sandwich. And I'm gonna dig into the sandwich first. There's your fork. Mm. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Hear me out. When I first heard Sonic had a pulled pork sandwich, my first thought was, that's not gonna be good. Sonic's a burger place. Stick to what you know. But you guys were all in my shit about trying this pulled pork sandwich, so we're gonna do it. Crystal, that looks fucking good. Shh. Tap it. Dick, get up there, too. I'm gonna tap the dog part. Look how long that is. I should have got me one of those. Damn! And that's my go-to. When I come to Sonic, when I'm not mukbanging, I get a Coney. Every time. Okay. Here's the pulled pork sandwich. She's messy. She's mm. very messy. She's got bar the meat, barbecue sauce, and pickles. Mm. Should we do it? Should we do a thumbnail while we're here? That looks good. Okay, got it. It smells good. Now that they, this is one of their uh, buttery brioche buns. Mm. That's not a regular burger bun. I know that right off the bat. I used to work at Sonic. I know. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. The first bite, the barbecue sauce is a little spicy. It's a little, it's got a kick to it. Does it have onions on it? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The bun is soft. The bun is buttery. The meat soft. The pickles adds a nice flavor. That barbecue sauce is throwing me off. Too much? It's just funky tasting. I like a sweet <laughs> barbecue sauce. I don't like a vinegary or spicy barbecue sauce. 
It's good. If I got it again, I'd probably say no BBQ sauce. Really? Yeah. Or just a little bit. They put a lot on there. Mmm. That's a Christmas cup. Gingerbread men. Uh, Christmas ornaments. Come on, man. It's damn near Easter. The Lord is about to rise, not be born. <laughs> oh, and I got a bone to pick with Sonic. Sonics, okay? A big bone, and you know exactly what I'm going to say. I used to work at Sonic. I worked at Sonic for eight years. Okay, from 2003-ish to 2000, I don't know, do the math. I used to get, I used to get Dr. Peppers and Cokes, and I put cream in them. I'd get the cream from the ice cream machine, I'd dip a little cup in there, and put it in there, and this shit was good. Now, some Sonics will do that for you, and some Sonics wouldn't. So when we moved to Nashville, I'd come to the, the Sonics back in Oklahoma would. I'd come to the Sonics and I'd go, yeah, I want a Route 44 Coke, add cream. And they'd go, we don't know what you're talking about, didn't they? Mm -hmm. And I'd say, the heavy cream from the ice cream, put it in there. i go, we can't do that. Wouldn't you know, cream and soda went viral on TikTok and now it's on their fucking menu. I started that in 2003. They'll have a Reba shake, but they won't have a Tammy Dirty drink. Right. That's what it should say. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't want to say that. I didn't want to come off conceited, but thank you. Damn. All these kids on TikTok thinking they invented something. Guess who invented it? Guess who copied all of TikTok? And now Sonics. It's okay though, I still love Sonics. All right, I'm gonna try my shake mm. before I get into my buffalo bites. So what they say, what they put on top, it's like a chocolate whipped cream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Chocolate whipped cream. It's almost like a chocolate mousse. Now that's good. Mm. The chocolate mousse is good. Mmm. Yeah. All right, ooh, I got my cherry here. Let me let me eat my cherry first with the chocolate mousse. The mousse. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Right? Mmm. Now, do you think Reba called Sonic and said, listen, I got an idea. Yeah. Yes. She called corporate? Yeah, because she is very artistic and she's always coming up with stuff songs and stuff and i have no doubt in my mind that she created this this shake mm. and let me try the the ice cream part it's got vanilla ice cream cherry i don't know if it's got cherry ice cream or what with chocolate chips mm. 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 that's good strawberry strawberry syrup This is fucking good. Mm -hmm. I'll give them this. The last, the last ice cream I got at Sonic was not good. This is good. Mmm. Well, I'll tell you what. They was probably happy to hear from Reba at corporate. Because usually when people call corporate, it's to say, Oh, your sandwich was hard. Give me a coupon. Right. Oh, your fries were lack flavor. Mm-hmm. Give me a coupon. Everybody's trying to get a coupon. Reba, hey. We create. Right. Mmm. I like the little flakes of chocolate. Mm hmm. Hey. Don't sleep on this shake. Especially if you're a Reba fan. Support Reba. Mmm. 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 I don't want to stop eating this. Mmm. That's good. Mm-hmm. Mm. Support Reba. I wonder how much money she gets from that. Half of it or third? She probably gets half of every shake sold. Mm. I think that's usually the deal. That's the deal. 
<clears throat> Alright. Let's answer another question. Hmm. God, y'all ask so many good questions. Sometimes you don't. And then sometimes you come through. Okay. This one's more for you, Crystal. Tammy, Crystal, did you know there are people who repaint precious moment figurines to be gothic? What in the world? First of all, why would you disrespect a precious moment and put paint on it? That seems like that would be not only against the law, but against God's law. And precious moments are collector's items. Highly sought after. Will you go into the museum and take your own paint and paint over the Mona Lisa? And I didn't know people was painting these until they said that. I had never heard that. And it's not just because it's goth. I don't have nothing against goth people. Like, as you know, we both had a goth space. Big time. Both of us. Huge. We used to be huge goths. But the fact that you're taking paint and desecrating a little child praying. I mean, it's a free country. But don't expect it. if you're going to sell them down the road, you ain't going to get what you get. If you That's what I'm saying. You're not going to get your... Just like when you rip it, rip your tag off of the your tie beanie baby, you're not going to get your money back down the road. Some of these precious moments are going for anywhere up to $40 to $50. Unbelievable. No on eBay. Look. Look for yourself. Unbelievable. All right. I'm going to try these buffalo chicken bites. Okay, let me tear it open for you and I'll show you the inside. Okay, right off the bat, it does look drier <clears throat> than the picture showed. Now, I've never been a fan of buffalo sauce, but let's try it. I'm being optimistic here. Okay. Flavor's not bad. <clears throat> There's not a ton of... What is it called? There's not a ton of that sauce in there, so it doesn't make it bad. But they're dry. I need a sauce to dip it in. I was going to say, didn't you get no sauce or nothing? Mm -mm. What's this one for you? Pretzel? That's my pretzel. Ooh, which I can't wait to dig into. These are good. I, these are good. They just have a, a light buffalo flavor. So it's tolerable for me. But they are dry. They're good. I probably wouldn't order them again. I need some ranch. Stick with what you know. Stick with the cheese sticks. You know what I'm saying? You know when you get a cheese stick, you make it quality. Right. Mmm. Tammy. Crystal. What's your favorite comfort food from childhood? I know mine right off the bat. Little by any sausages. That's a good one. Granny used to buy them from the sack and save. What are those? They came in little bo like big boxes and they'd have like a hundred little by any sausages. We'd keep it in the cabinet. When we got low, we'd go back to the sack and save. Every day after school, what did I do? Pop one open. Pop one open. Sit in front of the TV and watch your cartoons. Yep. Eat my Vianney sausages. I don't eat them an, a, as an adult <clears throat> as much as I should. They're hard to find. Mm-hmm. They are. I had a doctor tell me one time they're called tubes of death. Because they're so bad for you. I said, well, they might be bad for you physically, but mentally they're good for you. Right. There ain't nothing better than a little tiny hot dog like that. With the gel? Nothing better. Ooh. Mmm, so good. They're soft and flavorful. Love me a Vianney sausage. You're just popping one open. Feels good. She like a cat. You know, you know how when you open a cat, cat food, they come running. She'd hear that pop and she'd come running. <laughs> Who's opening Vianney sausages? Yeah. 
Yeah, for real, that was me. Would you say that's your favorite comfort food as a child, or what do you what are you doing? I like a bologna sandwich on white bread. Oh, just with that mayonnaise. Yeah. Okay, here's my pretzel. The cheese sauce is the best part. They've got some of the best cheese sauce I've ever had. So dipper, okay. Mmm. Mmm, that's good. Mmm. Stuck at the top of my mouth. Damn. Get the pretzel. Get the pretzel. Mmm, that's good. That crunch was, mm -hmm, as they say, iconic. Ooh, the saltiness of the pretzel with the sweetness of the dirty dark pepper. Mmm. That's hitting. <laughs> that's hitting hard. That crunch was unbelievable. It just was like... Oh, man. All right. Oh, Crystal. Tammy. How's the food tasting? Is your pussy throbbing? I'd say it's half throbbing. My drink, excellent. My shake, excellent. My pretzel, excellent. Look, her hey, coney, excellent. Answered that question. Hello? Coney's all gone. <laughs> Goodbye. Now, the barbecue sandwich, five out of ten. Buffalo Bites, 4 out of 10. They're good. If you're hungry and you order them, you're not going to be disappointed, but you're not going to order them again. Does that make sense? Everything else I would order again, hands down. Let me try the Buffalo Bite with the cheese. Because that may change everything. Didn't change it. No. Mm -mm. Nope. That should have brought out ranch with it. Yeah, or something. Why would you bring out a dry thing like that? No uh, ranch. Right. Um, let's see here. Let's answer one more question. <clears throat> good one. Mm, let's do this one. Tammy, Crystal, do you guys like to titty fuck? Each other? <laughs> I don't know what they meant. <laughs> Maybe in general. I'm going to say it. I don't. Because my, my clit's not right here. Mm -hmm. My clit's lower. What's the titty fuck gonna do for me? Am I gonna get off? No. Okay? Now, am I great at titty fucking? Yes. Do I have massive honkers that can fit around any wiener in the world? Yes. Will I do it if a man's begging me? Yeah. But I don't like it. I don't like to do it because I ain't got no feeling in there in between my boobs. You know? That's not where a, a winner is supposed to go. It's supposed to go in a hole. Does that make sense? And they want you to pretend that you like it. They want you to be like, oh yeah, get that thing in there. Get it. Go back and forth. And it's like, I'm not going to lie to you. No. No, I don't lie. <laughs> they want you just to hold them. And... Ooh. Right. If something don't feel good, we ain't lying about it. No, we're not. And I'll tell you what, if I'm banging Brad Pitt and he don't go down on me, guess who ain't letting that shit slide? Me. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you are Brad Pitt. I don't care if you were in Fight Club. 
I don't care if you were in Thelma and Louise. I don't care if you was in River Run, Steve. I don't care if you were married to Jennifer Aniston. I don't care if you were born in Oklahoma like me. I don't care if you lived predominantly in Springfield, Missouri. I don't care about none of that. You're going to eat my pussy. Movie star or not. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Movie star or not. Oh, you might have a Grammy for one of your movies, but can you eat pussy? Right. Right. That trophy don't mean nothing to me. That ain't got nothing to do with me. Mm -hmm. we're, in, we're in a bedroom right now. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Mm. Damn, this is good. All right, guys. That's it for today's mukbang. Listen, we're almost done with tour. Oh. We have shows in Nashville this week. They're sold out. Huntsville, Alabama. Still some tickets left. And then we go to Cary, North Carolina. And then that's it. Then Tammy's pontoon party, and we're done. So come see me. Click the link in my descriptions for our Patreons. Okay? And what else? And watch our podcast that we do with Dave Gunther. I meant to say that. A real podcast, not fake. The podcast, our new podcast, Trailer Tales, has been popping off. People are loving it. It's climbing the charts week after week. Views are going up. Okay? I'll put the link down there, too. Go subscribe. And thank y'all for the support. And thank you. Every time I... Sorry. <laughs> Every time I post a picture of my titties on... Patreon, I just get the nicest comments from people. Oh, Tammy, your nipples are smaller than I thought they were going to be. Mm -hmm. Tammy, your nipples are the perfect color. Tammy, your skin's beautiful. Tammy, I just nutted to this three times. I mean, y'all say the nicest things. Mm. I just want to thank you. <laughs> and I hate to get all sentimental on you guys. I, you know, I'm, but, but I really appreciate you guys and your support. Okay. Amen. I love you. I'm going to be mukbanging over on Patreon. And that's pretty much it. Okay. We love you. Bye.